Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring harnesses available for the 2017 Chevrolet Traverse. Here we have our tow ready T1 vehicle wiring harness that's going to offer the four pole flat trailer connector. This part number is 118270. This is going to supply us with running light signal, left turn and brake, right turn and brake, and also a ground to make sure our lights all operate properly. Next, we're going to have the Tow Ready T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 7-pole round trailer connector. This is part number 118271. This is going to give us running lights, left turn and brake, right turn and brake. It's also going to give us a 12-volt power supply at the rear of our vehicle. It's going to give us the signal from a brake controller if we decide to connect it, and also the reverse light signal, and of course a ground in that as well. Now, both of these first kits are designed to work with a Traverse that has a plug located just to the passenger side of the passenger side exhaust up on the body. These kits come with the relays and also the fuses, plus the instructions on exactly where to place these in our underhood fuse box to get all of our signals working for both wiring kits. Now, if your vehicle is not equipped with that plug, which most of them are, we have ran into a very few exceptions here at eTrailer, but we do have available the Kurt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness. This also offers the four-pole flat trailer connector. This part number is C56181. Now this is a little bit different kit than our first two. The first two we're gonna plug in, we place in our fuses, we place in our relay. It's gonna work. Nice, simple, and straightforward. As far as our Kirk T connector kit here, you'll have to ensure that you don't have rear air conditioning. If you do, you can't get to the plug on the passenger side where you need to plug this T connector in. What this does is it plugs directly in line between the factory wiring and the factory tail light housing. That allows the box to receive the signal or the switch from the light and it makes it causes a switch to activate whatever light that we need out there. We've got this to pick up the turn and brake from the passenger side. And we've got this one that's gonna go over in the driver's side. This is gonna get our turn, our brake, our running lights, our stop signal. Sends it right into that box, which then sends it out with a usable signal for our trailer. One of the nice things about this box is it does receive standalone power from a 12 volt power source. So we're not drawing power through the lighting system, which might cause overload situation. This is gonna protect the vehicle's wiring system by getting its own 12 volt power from our battery. You can see they've got a bulk of wire here to help us run it up front, even a fuse holder, fuses. Now for this you'll need a, quite a few extra zip ties to do your installation just so you can get it really nice and secure as it goes forward. This is definitely the most difficult kit to install so hopefully you've got that factory plug underneath the rear of the vehicle and again most traverses do have it. Now when installing these two kits it's going to be very simple and pretty straightforward. You'll want to have a few longer zip ties on hand just so you can zip tie the wiring around the hitch. You'll want to have some side cutters so you can trim those zip ties off. And then some dielectric grease to go in between that factory plug and our new plug. This is just prevents moisture dirt from getting in there and causing corrosion. Now let's talk a little bit about which kit's going to be best for which application. If you are using just a standard utility trailer that doesn't have brakes or doesn't have a powered jack, or if you're just using lights on a cargo carrier, then our standard four pole that has the factory connector on it, or the other four pole kit here, the Kurt 12 volt powered wiring kit, is going to do the job for you. They're going to send out the signal, going to operate those lights on the trailer, and everything's going to run fine for us. Now, if your trailer has a seven pole round connector on it, if you have a trailer that has brakes, if you intend to use a brake controller, or maybe you need the reverse signal for a marine application, like when they have the surge brakes, sometimes we need to cut that off to be able to back up. Or if you need 12 volt power to power a jack on your trailer, or maybe to trickle charge a battery or something of that nature, then you wanna go with the seven pole kit. Now I like the seven pole round design simply because it's going to be pretty adaptable. Of course we can plug our seven pole trailer connector in there directly with no adapter at all, but this can also go to a six pole, 
a five pole or a four pole with the correct plug-in adapter, which you can find available on our website. Now, a nice thing about all of our wiring kits is that they're not going to draw power through the lighting system, so it's going to protect our vehicle from any kind of shorts that we might have in the trailer. So just to kind of wrap it up, give you one quick overview here. Our simple four pole plug-in, this is going to be for a vehicle that has the plug on the back of the vehicle and running a smaller utility trailer or a cargo carrier lighting system. We move up to our seven pole system. These are going to be for the standard utility trailers if they've got a seven pole on them. These are going to be for the slightly heavier duty trailers that have the electronic brakes. This will be a requirement for those brakes to work. This comes in handy if we want to use a reverse signal for a marine style trailer and we don't want to run a separate wire for it. This is going to give us 12 volt power at the plug that we'll be able to use for our trailer. In my mind, using this wiring kit is only going to come into play when we don't have that factory connector to plug into. Again, we don't run into that very often, but this will give you a fully functioning four pole trailer connector. Now with this wiring kit, if you need reverse signal or 12 volt power or brake controller signal, like we get out of the seven pole, you're gonna have to add part number ETBC7, which is gonna be an electronic brake controller wiring kit. And that's gonna complete our look at the best wiring kits available for the Chevrolet Traverse. We hope this is gonna make your decision in purchasing just a little bit easier to make. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.